welcome back to another video today in this video i'm going to review pixel plus ui very latest version uh, the last version was released few months back but this is very latest one so now let's get started so let me show you from the settings i will provide every details so don't worry about that so let's start from the about section so you guys can see android version and the pixel logo pixel plus ui which is 3.7 version ragnarok so android 11 of course and they have uh, made their own kernel like uh, lineage os so pixel plus ui are using its own kernel and now let me show you system and we have latest google keyboard and which is really impressive and we have gestures you guys already know about that and uh, this is really working pretty much fine and every single stuff is uh, redesigned Here you guys can see the one click parts. So you, if you have problem installing any application uh, Like magic modules, then you guys can use this from easily easily because this is really great because you guys can see here the Selenex mode you guys can change the Selenex mode like permissive uh, like enforcing let me show you if you enable that it will be enforcing so, but you need to root your device remember this thing you must root your device and I have already rooted and you guys can uh, clear your speaker and so many customizations you guys can see sound enhancer and choose headphones type uh, you guys can check yourself no problem and we have digital well-being accessibility security on security we have the face unlock, fingerprint and app locker and all those are working pretty much fine you guys uh, don't need to worry about that and after that sound as usual what do we have actually some features are there you guys can check out and finally display the dark theme which is really really cool let me show you once and you guys can make a schedule schedule is available here and if you want to enable this one so this is the dark mode and which looks pretty much fine and this is really great I'll talk about battery life later but on here what we have adaptive brightness status bar you guys can have it and live display which is working pretty much fine no problem on that so this is and you guys can uh, do a color calibration no problem on that picture adjustment you guys can do that for picture mode and video mode live display is working no problem and what we have next is style and wallpapers you guys already know about that you guys can make your own style here no issues and font size you guys can uh, change your font size and you guys can access to rotation settings auto rotations if you enable this one then uh, you guys can set degrees no problem any screen server lock your screen double tap full screen everything you guys can check yourself no problem and the final what we have on customizations which is pixelizer you guys can see here this is pixel plus ui and this is the information and thanks to the builder his name is here you guys can see and now let's move on to the uh, features and double tap brightness control icons everything is just cool here they have made a different category here so you guys can easily use and say fingerprint authentication you guys already know about that if you want to uh, use your fingerprint when you reboot your device then you can, can use no problem all those things are here uh, all necessary menus are here and power menus so you guys can see advanced reboot is here so if you want to reboot or here is the advanced menu you guys can access that advanced menu here no problem so those are the features actually and everything is just working pretty much fine here no issues and i didn't get anything here in that room 
and this is really fast as well you guys can see this is really fast and the animation is very smooth here if you keep using you like it and battery backup now let's talk about battery backup battery backup is really good and here you guys can see 2 hour and 37 minute I screen uses since full charge and 69% is still available so battery backup is really great and uh, I didn't get any excess battery drain issue so no battery, battery drain issues is here it, uh, it can drop 1% or 2% battery keep using it will be fixed noises on that battery backup is great no problem and I played uh, Call of Duty a 46 minute uh, during that uh, time uh, this charge you guys can see here and this is not a problem and I played games and if you want to uh, ask me and then I can say this is uh, a kind of you guys can play games but you will get frame drops you can use modules no problem this is yeah but it's playable you guys can play call of duty no problem or uh, pubg mobile as well but you will get frame drops on so this is not a proper gaming rom but you guys can use gaming no problem and double tap is working you guys can see no issues on that and i'm using here a gcam you guys can see gcam is perfectly working in that rom no problem any problem so now let's talk about safety net or some other stuffs like let me show you cp throttling when charge was 87 percent cpu throttled to 74 percent and let me show you the geekbench score 266982 uh, single core score is really great but uh, multi core score is uh, not so great and not bad and i have tested it uh, for 15 minutes you guys can see when device charge was uh 31 percent and cpu throttle to 78 percent so you guys can say when charge was um uh, charge was around 87 percent or 90 percent then we get low performance but when charge uh battery draining battery was 31 percent or 38 percent uh the performance was great so no problem it's up to you guys this is a perfect rom for daily drive you guys can use on your daily life if you are not a uh, proper gamer then this is a cool rom for you no problem on that and lastly i just want to say you guys uh, say about safety net because i uh, rooted my device so safety net uh, should be checked so safety net is failed and how can we solve that let me show you that First of all, open your Magix Manager and go to setting and enable Magix Site and then get back and let me show you another thing. The Play Store. So here it is. So device is not certified. So how can we solve that? The safety net issue. Just uh, press and hold and go to app info and storage and clear just clear storage once so we are done now reboot system and check so I am rebooting so finally device is booted And fingerprint is working pretty much fine no issues on that and now I will check safety net is passed or not what is the safety net here it is and now let me check so you guys can see safety net is passed so this is the way you guys can uh, pass your safety net on any uh, custom room no problem on that and if you uh, are if you are uh, willing to use any banking application then you guys can easily if you want to use any banking application then you guys can easily use just open a magic manager and first of all download your official banking applications then install then 
open your magic manager then click on security then click on magic site and just you will get all the list of applications here just click on that just make tick mark which application you want to use just click on uh, here here just mark it and get back and you are done just reboot your device once you are done you are you can use easily your banking applications no issues on that so this is the video guys if you guys really like my videos please uh to subscribe and hit the bell icon